I've also asked you in the past, guys who've been very hard for you to defend and to prepare for, um, you're obviously quite the headache for other teams to prepare for. So if you had to write the playbook on how to defend Jalen Brunson, what would your game plan be? Oh, wow. My game plan? Oh, man, I don't know. I would say. You're playing against yourself. How would you defend you? I don't, I don't know. I would say if, if I were to defend myself, I would say just trap me. Trap me, get the ball out of my hands. Like, I, that's what I would say to defend myself. Because even to me, even to myself, when I had the ball, when I'm, I can be pretty unpredictable. Like I'm, I play off my like instincts and stuff like that. So um, I'm better <laughs> just don't have the ball in my hands. <laughs> so when you say you play off instincts, what do you look for? Like, what do you what do you notice when you're out there? Yeah. So I kind of like in the summer, I always work on like pretty much everything that I could possibly think. It may not be all in one workout, but it's like over a course of a summer, I would I would work on a lot of things. Um, basically, it's just like reading angles. Um seeing how a defender's playing, if he's up on you, if he's backing off, um, is he staying straight up, is he lower than you, or just trying to figure out, like, how is he trying to disrupt me? And I'll play off that. There's a counter to everything. If I want to do something and he blocks it off, I counter it. If he blocks that off, I counter it again. Like, there's only so many times you can counter it. And so I just... For me, I've learned how to play off balance. So off balance for me is on balance because I, I kind of figured out how to do it. And I've, have I mastered it? No, but like it's, it's comfortable for me to be off balance sometimes. And so um, I guess it's a little unorthodox when someone's guarding someone who's kind of playing like that. And so um, now I've seen you make some of those like wild shots where you are off balance. How do you practice that? I know you said you didn't master it, but when did you feel like, okay, like I'm really comfortable with this? I think I was really comfortable comfortable with it like in college. Yeah. Like in high school, you can kind of get away with you know, being like stronger, uh, more physical and stuff in high school. Uh, in college, it's, it's definitely different. And so that's when I kind of really learned how to understand it, kind of playing off two feet, be able to like use my body to like kind of get defenders off of me without like obviously like running them over and stuff like that. But um, yeah, college, it definitely got better at it because I had to use it. And obviously in the NBA, I have to use it now because there's so many great defenders. Everyone's just, everyone's seven feet. Like I'm the only like normal sized human on the court at all times. Who's the hardest guy for you to get around? Like, who do you think plays like the toughest defense on you? I can't, I can't say that publicly right now. I can't say it. <laughs> Why? He's, he's, he's still in the NBA. I'll say it when he retires. Damn, I'll say it when he... this is some juicy stuff. You have to save that question for me. All right. Promise you can't tell anyone else. Okay.